I had been a painter, and I may have if it were not for the fundamentals of that art, which are beyond reach, a studio has evaded me. But the question, what medium, means that to make a decisively painterly gesture, I would have to settle on a particular kind of paint, canvas, brush, paper, etc. This would entail gaining a true knowledge of all these merchandise after discussing them at some length with the merchant. attractive foil of dresses. I was carved and molded nonchalantly by unknown utensils and slipped into the marshes in charcoal and crayons. I was looking at writing in mud, not an image like life, nor metaphorical or psychological dispositions or any enigmatic fantasies or fictional settings. I was also seemingly that I had no desire to describe my thoughts. I'm concerned about the intellectual dynamism of the times. My sincerest wish was for the composition of a musical art to compose the words on this paper by rote. But to do that would have entailed musical notation, something for which I had neither the skill nor inclination. I had another plurality, the people Perhaps, but nevertheless, I had been informed they were controlled by television, the daily newspapers, and the wireless. Nothing I could say would make governments anywhere stop some of the cruelest practices. The lucidity was gained as protest against itself. The reader of it was to be whomever would, in the space of time in which the written word might be in print, drawn in to represent another interpretation. In other words, I was not planning writing for a circle of friends and acquaintances, or seeking acknowledgement from those with the same fascinating ideas on the world and life as myself. Neither was writing going against ideas anathema to our own, my friends. Driving through this season with an aesthetic keepsake, the gift of the siren, scaled body, nails, bindu, tattoo of antennae animated by the toy in the dervish, and beyond a certain point, like a hiccup, if you like, the silent one was the reader who chanced upon this reading just as I was drawing forth from the paper, ink and typewriters, language forms within an environmental body independent of writer and reader, so both with a charge telegrammatic and compliant with poetical treason, in which each paragraph was the writer's and the reader's, and thereby obstructive of the procession of language, because they both belonged to the same environment in which they had their end.
tinsel sport in our bundle. If you care to read, then prepare to go to the quarry of the angels. Carving clatter, the white horse took one and a half the glass. Miracle chartreuse.